Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's do some more of our campaign in European Europa Universalis 4. Blessed Prester John. Uh, these armies are drilling. These armies are marching. These guys are going to head all the way up to, I think... No, I, I told them to go this way to avoid the attrition, didn't I? Go to there, then to there. Then... Then, yeah, you can go up to here. Alright, so... I noticed that Hijaz has claims on Mushasha, three of them, and I want to attack Mushasha anyway for Basra. I think I'm going to toggle on Hijaz the Divert Trade, remove Scootage, and then we're going to use his claims to go after this guy. Instead of drilling with these armies. This guy's land is, like, there's no fort down here, and it's a level one, no, level three fort, but it's inland. It should be very easy for me to get this land. Alright, so, these guys will head up to Basra, as will these guys. Let's make sure that these guys over here keep drilling, even though they're kind of maybe susceptible to being attacked by somebody. Send that down to there. Need more cannons. Always needing more cannons. Okay, I'm gonna transfer these over to Hijaz. Transfer you to Hijaz. Get this siege done. Transfer to Hijaz. Still don't think I'm going to release a subject here in Basra. Well, actually... Basra's the only core here. Does Basra have cores on my land? They do, they don't. So I'd have to give up a three development province to release Basra. In fact, I probably could have released Gaza earlier. Basra, rather, earlier. Age Reformation has begun. Alright, cool. That's the Blasphemy Act. Tolerance of heretics goes down. That's fine. We keep that policy on for now. I'm continuing to build churches because I'm just trying to get my, my non-gold income up as much as possible. We've already converted 65 provinces, uh, we've already converted another nation, and we've unified our culture, so... If we wanted to, we could do our golden era now, but we already have got it. It's only going to last for five more years. Gotta get those gold mines developed. Seven splendor per month is pretty great. Not going humanist or re religious, not going to join the reformation. Because I don't know about the emperor yet. Not doing that, not doing that. So, this is it. And we're probably just going to push for coastal barrage. Maybe go for institution spread if we start seeing some uh, colonialism actually making its way somewhere around here, but there's nothing so far. Ottomans have gone after the Mamluks, but they just lost their Guns of Urban. We should see their siege ability is down to, well, 20%. They still have luck. A lot of army professionalism. Whoa. Yeah, with... 9.2 army professionalism, that means that they're... Oh no, I was thinking of uh, army tradition. Yeah, we actually have more tradition than they do. Okay, considering that I only want a few things, what's it going to take for you to just peace out and make me not have to deal with Gazinsasa?
Right, I am ahead of time on admin, and I'm falling behind on institutions. If the burgers were loyal, I would start doing some base tax development, just like everywhere. For more income, and force limit and stuff. There should be a stable government. Yeah, you're right, there should be. There's the 10th cannon. Of course, the Ottomans are going to completely steamroll the Mamluks, because the Mamluks are, well, near dead. Total war score cost of the Mamluks is still very high, 256, so I can't, like, try to vassalize them or anything. I am converting this province, which... This state has very little development. Well, no, it's like 30-something. If I had a state slot, I'd probably make Alexandria into a state. The actual rebellion's pretty much gone, so I think I'll switch back to... Nope, he's dead. We're doing a military idea group. Rile of Armies is handy, but I'm gonna go to... at least a level 2 advisor. Love to get a half-price military advisor again. Also like to get a better siege guy. I forgot about so many times that I had to turn on that war taxes. I hate that damn thing. It's so obnoxious to remember to do that. It just drives me crazy. Darn it. You actually did come over here. What a bunch of bastards. Third, ninth. Don't you dare try to do something cheesy like stack wipe my army with this just because you came over here. We just have to make it into the sixth. Yeah, I mean, they lost more than they killed even though my army had like 0.5 morale. Can't believe that they're such jerks that they would even try to do that. Granted, I was drilling on the front line, but I'm gonna, and I'll do it again too. I'm, like, I'm not gonna stop. It's just <laughs> irritating. Please let me just take this land back. Like, why? Why you gotta do this? I'm trying to convert it. Why are you being so mean? Hmm. Luristan. I think I'd like to have a subject called Basra in this culture group. Alright, since I'm not trying to full annex him, he should agree to a peace deal pretty easily. I want these things that cost me no dip. I can release Basra from Basra. Um, I can... probably afford to take a province here, yes? Seven development? No, he won't do that. That's plenty good. So, to release Basra or to wait on Syria? I think I'm actually leaning towards just conquering land from the Ottomans myself, since we only need like two provinces here. Basra will let me get up into this area, and then I can take something from Kara myself as well. I think I'll release Basra. They can be Shia, that's fine. Basra, you can immediately have scootage or not. Basra only has a couple cores, but we now have core return on Kara.
Maybe I should have taken that extra province just for the adjacency. I did not enable Scootage yet. I am done with Hejaz being in wars though, I think, probably. Need some prestige again. Really? Wow. Surprised by how low the supply limit is here. So, while the Ottomans are at war with the Mamluks, do we want to go into this war, or do we want to just focus instead on... ...other easier targets? Can't even fabricate on the Ottomans right now. Would you accept a threat in war? No, but almost. Negative ten reasons. That's actually pretty close. <laughs> you pull in Trebizond Gazmagaka again, and that's about it. Uh No, I think it makes more sense to just focus on going this way now. Let's go fight the Ottomans. It's time. I don't want to wait any longer. I do still want to get more force limit, but... Income's kind of starting to dry up a little bit. 11 ducats a month in reinforcement. Split this army up so we don't suffer attrition. Hey, Alexandria, please get converted. Masapa has a church. Great. More churches everywhere. They take a long time to pay for themselves, but. In fact, I could probably just stop building buildings now because at 87 ducats divided by 0 0.05 that's 145 years to pay for itself. Unless I develop the land, which I might, but I need the the guys to be loyal before we're going to do that. But that's coming up in what? What was it? Like 25? Yes. In two years, I can do that. Okay, I guess I'm just going to wait and see and plan speed 4 or 5 while we wait for the Ottomans to do their, their peace deal. As soon as they turn off, as soon as they win, hopefully they'll turn off some of their forts. 
We can go and quickly take Damascus. He's actually trying to go down to here. These. My truce is not up for a long time with them, though, so... I need to improve relations with you. Got room for more troops. I could get another three cannons. We have 35 cannons. Like, I actually have a lot of cannons now, but it never feels like there's enough. Ottomans have 80,850 troops with 65,000 manpower. We have about 20 more force limit than they do at this point. But they're taking down Cairo pretty quick. Not as quick as they used to. They still have that 21% though. Please get out of here. Stop making me suffer attrition. Nope. Okay, I've got a bunch of subjects that are not paying me taxes anymore. Hejaz being the most important one. My prestige is really low and I'd like it to be higher for the war with, uh... For the actual war with the Ottomans, for the man... Uh, Army, morale of armies. My diplomatic reputation is still low. There's a low legitimacy. I really want to do a military idea group, but I think I need to raise my legitimacy a little bit right now. Try to get these guys back to loyal. Alexandria has been converted. Which means we can turn on a new... Thing. So, I can do yearly legitimacy plus 0.5, but that's a really, really slow thing. Over 10 years, you get, like, 5 legitimacy. Big deal. Um, discipline plus 2.5, on the other hand, I think is going to give us a lot more value. Edge over the Ottomans, hopefully. Yeah, if you guys could all just go ahead and start paying me taxes again, that'd be great. Mamluks seed Rosetta, Gaza, Jerusalem, and Jaffa to the Ottomans. Mamluks revokes cores on a bunch of land. Mamluks pays Ottomans 420 ducats. Okay, with those 420 ducats, I doubt we're going to see the Ottomans mothball that fort. But he just conquered a little bit of land here, not much. And I now have all of my armies. One, two, three. You are not quite up in position, but almost. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. Next episode, I'm going to do it. We're finally going to declare war on this guy. Uh, I'm ready to go kick his butt. Maybe we give him a couple months just to let his armies retreat, but for the most part, it's time to fight. So, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next episode. See you soon.